Hello everyone and welcome back. So today it's a, a little bit of a quick video because we've got a very important announcement to make for you. Plus, um, yeah, we just, we've been really busy today. We went with mum and dad to, um, they brought a kitchen basically off of somebody that's selling their house here in France. And uh, it's the kitchen that mum and dad want. So mum, dad, me and Mo all went and uh, <laughs> dragged this kitchen basically out of out of somebody's house. So yeah, we did that this morning and we had good intentions to go to the convent and get some work done, but yeah. So I just wanted to quickly show you because in the last video, I, um, I said to you that uh, I'd found another kitchen. Well, Mo and I went to look at this kitchen and uh, I'm just gonna quickly show it to you. Right, so the kitchen, I apologise for the shadows, guys, we're outside. So it was from Maison de Mon, and oh, here is the kitchen that we found that we really wanted. Now, basically, it's a modular kitchen, so it comes in bit by bit. So you buy every part and you put it where you want it, basically. So it's not one singular worktop. So it all comes with the worktop, everything on it. And we got to the shop, didn't we, Mo? Yeah. And they're discontinuing it. So all they had left was the sink unit, which is fine, but it hasn't got any space for a draining board or anything next to it. So what we wanted was that and that, or that and a cupboard next to it. And uh, that would have been our like sink area with a couple of cupboards above. Well, now they don't have any of the units. So they don't have that, they don't have that, they don't have that. Basically, all they've got is the sink unit, this larder cabinet, cabinet. and what's not on here, but it, they had an island. So it's exactly the same as this, yeah, a kitchen yeah. island, but they don't island. haven't got it in here. And they've got that left. And uh, so that, that, that and a kitchen island would have cost seven thousand euros <laughs> and you can't have any other work surface well, so we sat down with the bloke and we did all of the measurements and then he decided to tell us that they've got one of this left and 22 of that left and three of that left this this is gonna come on the september 19th yeah, so you the have to island. wait until September for yeah. the island. And yeah, so that's a no-go, guys, basically. As lovely as it is, this is amazing, this larder cabinet. This is what I wanted. Um, and, yeah, it's got the really nice, like, matte black, real wooden doors and countertops. But, yeah, sadly, we can't have it. So they've got, like, this kitchen, but it's not really the kind of kitchen that I want. I mean, yeah, it's wood, you could paint it, but I just don't like the uh, doors and stuff like that. And for the price, I'd rather have it the color that I wanted it. So we're back to the drawing board or back with Ikea kitchen, but uh, yes. So that is Maison de Mond. It's a massive furniture shop as well. They sell everything, outdoor furniture, bedroom furniture, everything you can think of decoration mirrors and it's a really nice shop here in france but yeah i'm sad about that because that kitchen would have been fab <laughs> right so oh queenie where's your fly mask on every day now right we're gonna grab the horses in get them brushed right so we just got the girls in come here and this rug that Queenie's got on is a fly rug because she is extra sensitive to flies. If she gets bitten, like you can see the area where she wasn't covered, she's got like fly lumps on her skin, fly bite lumps right there. And little Elsa doesn't get those, fortunately. <laughs> what are you doing? How has Mo tied you up? And so as good as that fly rug is, it leaves Queenie's mane looking very worse for wear <laughs> so we need to get that brushed so they're tied outside of Udaya's new stable she's got a nice door she's got her name written in the concrete like the others and it is a massive stable 
I think we should put the queen inside to just see how how big it is. How big it is, yeah. Alright, we'll take Queenie in then, test yeah. the size of the table. Come on then. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Come on. In. Oh, it's big. That's a big stable. I will shut the door. Even Elsa, I think she want to to come in. No. She won't. That's the only problem with those neck things. It really doesn't agree with the mane. Well, Queenie's mane anyway. She's got really coarse mane. Oh, it kind of rubs the hair off, which, uh, as you can see. <laughs> you look like Medusa. What are you doing here? It's really big, this new stable. I thought you just received something. Yes, I did. So basically this time of year, there's a fly and it flies just specifically on horses and it lays tiny little eggs, like little yellow eggs on their fur. And uh, I'll get Mo to come and show you in a minute. So Queenie's got quite a few and so is Elsa. Basically, they, uh, they're not harmful until the winter because when the horse scratches itself, Mm. They ingest some of these little eggs and then come winter they hatch out inside them and come out in their poo. Uh, they're not really harmful but you have to, um, in the winter, worm them for that specific uh, fly, egg and then it's fine again until next year. But there is a special tool that you can use to obviously help. Obviously they don't look pretty and... Uh, it's better that they don't swallow them. So if you can get them off, sorry, she's being annoyed by a flight. If uh, you can get them off, it's much better. <laughs> so no, Queenie, you can't chew the stable door. So we're gonna get the little knife and see if it works. A bot knife, it's called. Hmm. Can see myself. Ooh. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> yep. Queenie's like, is it a treat? So, if you come a little bit closer, Mo, you're gonna see. So just here, mm -hmm. that little yellow thing, it's a bot egg. Yeah. And she has not many here because she's had that fly rug on. But if you come down here. Wait, I will just show this. Hopefully. Look. Yeah. yeah. So if you come down here on her legs, you're going to find more. She's got quite a few. All here, here, yeah, here, yeah, here, yeah. here. And they like to lay in their feathers too so sometimes their feathers will have some queenie hasn't got any in her feathers because i doused her with uh, neem oil and that got rid of them right. so this tool because these are really sticky they're really hard to get off basically so this just pulls it off 
Yeah. So look, if you see with my nail, I can pull it off. But if I go round every one and try and get it off, it doesn't come off very easy. So this, oh, Queenie, yes. Just scratches them straight off. It's like the most amazingest tool. Uh, 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 stand still. Mm. I can see loads in the yeah, overlay. Yeah, she's got loads here. And now she has zero. So this tool is perfect mm. because if you go around having to pick every single one off, you're not going to get them all. And this just takes them straight off. Wait a minute. can't see any. That neem oil, she mm. had loads and I put that neem oil on her legs and ordered this straight away. And I thought, oh, the neem oil will keep the flies off for a while. And I come back the next morning, they're all gone, those bot eggs, completely gone. But I did slather her in it and the stuff isn't really that nice. How about, how about Ilsa? Yeah, see Elsie if she will has, have some. If she has uh, some. But she's white. So they are see. really mm. difficult to... But yeah, she has some too. You can see them. Mm. But with her, what you're better off doing is just going over the whole leg. Queenie, you're jealous. So loving isn't she Elsa? <laughs> I think though she knows how to play you to get her little treats don't mm. you? Mm. Yes you do. Mm. She loves a cuddle. Mm. She loves a cuddle. Yes she does. Yes, Alright let's get their din dins. We change it. <laughs> we don't believe in superstitions, but a lot of people mentioned it, so we flipped it. We flipped it around. It's not really on there very well. Right. We've got an announcement to make, haven't we, Mo? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I start my vlog. Yes. So, after this video tonight, we're not sure what time it's going to go out, but literally straight away, as soon as I've uploaded this video, Mo's video will be available as a premiere. Yeah. So it won't be available straight away, but it'll be about half an hour after my video airs. So stay tuned. What's your channel called, Mo? It's called Just Mo. Just Mo. Okay. Voila. So see you all on Just Mo tonight premiere. Yeah, just click here. No. No. I am I am new on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know where. No, it's gonna be at the end of the video. <laughs> There'll be a little clickable link to Mo's premiere. Okay. Thank you, Sadie. Thank you. Bye! <laughs>